Here's the router sim software with an inventor assembly. I'm going to open up the inventor assembly and from there it's just one click in inventor and we'll start the export process. Here's some uh, resolve links. There's some items missing in this assembly but we'll be able to work with it uh, anyway. Here you can see the model. I've got the parts on the screen that I want. Any other part that I don't want to use, I would use the suppress feature in Inventor to not export it. Here's Solid Sim. It's just one button click from here. You can click that and AutoCAD will start up and it transports the model from Inventor into AutoCAD where we can generate polylines and circles and different geometry on layers with thickness. So right now the feature recognition is taking place and a CSV file is created. This is a cut list file. When that's created the entire process is finished and we have individual drawing files with the names from Inventor. They have today's date and time on them and I have a cut list file. It's a CSV file that has the name of the part, the material, and the quantity. So I have name, material, quantity. There's the name of the drawings from Inventor. That's the material that was used in Inventor. There's the quantity. I also have a panel size. That's a minimum dimension and they're also separated as X, Y, and Z. So using that cut list file, at this point now we can actually exit the Inventor altogether. It just took one click to make this data. We can right click on that CSV file and cut it with Router Sim Automation Suite. At that point, the program starts up. Router Sim knows how to import that file. It knows the name of the part, how many, what material. So it'll go ahead and start cutting those parts and nesting them all automatically. This is one click to export all the parts. It's just this one more click to actually start processing and cutting them. And uh, there's some default settings in the router sim. For example, I have it set to make a program for each individual part as well as program them in a nest. So I'm going to get the program for the single parts and I'm going to get the program for the nest of parts. There's the part pops up on the screen. Each part opens up. It makes the tool paths based on the layers. I have some pocketing going on on the pocketing layers. I also have a report that pops up. You'll see an Excel spreadsheet. That's a cut time report that's opening to show uh, how long it's going to take to machine each one of those parts. Uh, there's also a setting you could check to have machining done on uh, both sides. If there's two-sided machining, in other words, if the parts are machining on both sides, we can put the sheet on the table uh, back side up It'll route all of the backside operations on each of the parts in the nest. It trims the edge of the sheet so when you flip it over you have a nice trimmed edge to flip against and then it machines the front side of the parts. So we've got all our individual programs are done. Now it's doing the nesting and this is the front side of the sheet that's being nested and sequenced. The results pop up in just a minute or so. I can open the results file and here are my, uh, there's the G code file for the whole sheet. There's a PDF file for the single sheet, for the nested sheet. There's the PDF. You can have that print to any printer you want. Okay. I've got my uh, individual NC code programs here. And there's a spreadsheet for each individual part too. It shows the tools that were used, how many tools and how many inches they cut. If you put, if you know your tool life, you can put in tool costs. The way you get an estimate for the machining operations. Okay, so it's coming up with a raw cycle time of two and a half minutes, but we add some other variables, set up and handling and so forth, and it comes out to about 3.25 minutes. So you have a little report for that. You also get the, the nested drawing is saved. If you ever want to change your nest results, you can change the nest results. They still have the 3D solids in there. You can see the parts with the tool paths in there. And I've also done what's called the tool stay down nest. That's where the tool stays down on the outside path and connects from part to part without lifting up. So that can reduce your cycle time 
by keeping the tool down and connecting from part to part. You can see there's actually an overlap built in, so you can use cutter comp on this as well. It's nice and smooth when you regenerate the screen. So that's a single path to cut the outside parts. There's all the operations. There's everything from solid sim. In literally two clicks, I got my nested drawing. I got G-codes for the individual parts. I got G-code for the nested sheet. I have labels for the parts. If you want to print labels, there's a, a labeling included with the router sim. It uses uh, Avery Label Pro, and you've got a picture of the parts on there. Barcodes can be used. You can use any of the Avery size labels. Uh, also in here is a summary report that contains the yield information for the sheets. Okay, and there's also tooling information. Uh, we take into account the acceleration, deceleration. So even though I programmed at 750 inches a minute, the machine had to do different feed rates as it cut around the part. And how many inches, again, each tool cut, the total cycle time is in there. So you've got your labels, you've got your single part reports, you've got your single part program files, and you've got your nested NC code file and a printout of the nested sheets. That's router sim from Inventor in just a few clicks. Thanks.